Even though FNF is a game that is supposed to be comical and lighthearted, there are quite a few mods that are actually not only creepy, but downright scary. In this video, I wanna highlight the top 20 scariest mods that have ever been released in FNF. Now I wanna start off with the one that I think is scariest to me, and that is gonna be the world below. I know I added this one into the video about the saddest mods, but it also fits for this one. This cutscene is one of the main reasons for that. I know that I'm not the only one that actually got legit jump scared when this mod first came out. And this is the main reason that it gets such a high placement. No other mod jump scare has ever truly gotten me an FNF. The second reason I rank this one so high is because of this image of Boyfriend. It is by far the creepiest image of him in my opinion. And considering that this mod is based on the bandy animation that was just kind of funny, I'm truly surprised that the creators of this mod did such a good job making it creepy. Next on this list, I'm gonna add the FNAF mods. And I know that FNAF is a old concept now, but that era of mascot horror still actually scares me. The newer stuff like the Garden of Ban Ban and Poppy Playtime, not so much. But the dark backstory of FNAF and how it revolves around like so many children really touches a nerve for me. And characters like Springtrap have always creeped me out. The FNAF 3 mod is a great example of one of the more scary FNAF mods that have come out in FNAF. Next, I'm gonna add the Gorefield mod. And Gorefield alone is pretty scary, but when you also know about the horoscope Gorefields, I think that just makes the fear like amplified. At some point, I think I'm gonna make a video ranking all the Gorefields by how dangerous they are and how screwed you are if your birthday falls into their horoscope. This next one may surprise you, but I think I have to add the Broken Strings mod onto this list. Now, most Pibby mods are not really scary, but Broken Strings is a bit different. Since it takes place on Sesame Street, the virus actually has the ability to affect people in the real world. The darkness will wash over whole cities like a huge tidal wave, but instead of drowning everybody, it would turn them all into mindless zombies. And if characters with superpowers couldn't escape it, a regular human would really stand no chance unless they have like some type of underground bunker. Next, I'm gonna add the Nobito's Biohazard mod. And this one basically is Doramon meets Resident Evil. The original game isn't very scary because the graphics simply are not there, but the FNF mod did a good job of making it pretty creepy. This scene in particular did it for me. I wanna add a old school mod next, and that is gonna be the Starving Artist mod, specifically the first one. This one was not jump scare scary, but more like real life scary. It deals with the idea of artists destroying themselves so that they can create art and also meet their deadlines. In the original mod, we literally see the artist basically breaking her body down just so she can continue to create the things that she wants to create. And I think anybody that has been like under tight deadlines can understand how detrimental it can be to your health when you're trying to rest something out or just get something done, especially when your livelihood depends on it. Next, we have the Freak Posture mod. And while I know that the Among Us like trend isn't really scary, the devs did a good job of making this version of it very creepy. I think most of it is due to the lyrics and like the character's actual voice. Right when 
Next, we have the Tails doll, and this character is a part of the Sonic.exe mod, but I feel like he deserves a place on this list because his backstory is probably the creepiest in that whole mod. It basically deals with the Sonic racing game and how there is a cursed version that allows Tails dolls to come into the real world. And his whole goal is to basically take the lives of whoever is in the house. And I said that this creepypasta is like the creepiest in that mod because in this story, his victims were like a young boy and his father. And based on what I just said, you can imagine what he did to them. The Pokey Knight Showdown is another mod that I found to be very creepy. And while it has two creepypastas in it, I'll focus on the Bayonet one for this video. In the mod, we actually see Bayonet looking into this little girl's window. And for those of you that don't know, in Bayonet's actual Pokédex entry, it states that it was an abandoned dog that amassed a grudge. And in the mod, we learn that girlfriend is a little girl that abandoned it, and now it is back for revenge. So to put simply, this is basically like a toy that has come to life, and now it just wants to get revenge on the owner that threw it away in the first place. It has a cool little cutscene that kind of shows this as well. We were best friends until you abandoned me. I thought I was the mistake, but you are the mistake. If I'm being honest, I feel like this mod did not get the attention that it deserved, but it is definitely one of the best Pokemon mods to ever be released in FNF. I think I have to put the Step Right Up mod next on this list. And while I know it's a mashup of different horror games and stories, I think what they did with Smile Dog in the mod was especially scary. This was the first mod that really showed how Smile Dog can literally jump out of whatever device you see him on and start to attack the viewer. I feel like I also need to add that Thumper is by far the creepiest mascot type character to be added in FNF. If a game came out where Thumper chases you through like a theme park, I would drop a few bucks to actually play that because he looks dope. Cartoon Cat has to have a place on this list for the simple fact that Trevor Henderson's creations are all nightmare fuel. Even the cartoon Cat has images that are super creepy, which is hard to do considering how goofy he normally looks. I also want to shout out this mod for the mini game that they added into the mod as well. Getting to play as the little girl and trying to avoid the cat was actually well done and a little bit scary. Next up we have the Horror Tale Patrick mod and this one is from the Mistful Crimson Morning mod. Basically Patrick becomes a serial slasher and is out to chop up all the people in Bikini Bottom. In the comic, we only see Spongebob hiding and Plankton as his actual victim, but there is something about seeing a crazy Patrick that is a little bit scary. I think it has to do with the fact that I grew up actually seeing him as like a goofball, so seeing him literally wearing Squidward's face as a mask is a little bit unsettling. Next up, we have Starved Eggman, and I know a lot of people don't consider this one to be horror, but hear me out. In this universe, Eggman still has all his intelligence, but he's also developed a taste for the flesh of Mobians. And I know a lot of you are thinking that we eat animals in our world all the time as well, but our animals don't walk, talk, and live just like humans. If your neighbor was a giant talking chicken in a suit, you would probably be less likely to want to turn him into chicken nuggets. And I think that like Starved Butch and Starved Squidward all fall into this category of scary as well. I just find it creepy that some of these characters just turn into serial slashers and start devouring their own peers. I know that it's technically not cannibalism or anything, but it still feels very weird for me. Another old one here is going to be Star Crown Phase 4. Some of you may remember this guy if you've been in the community since like the beginning. His regular form is just kind of creepy, but when he goes into this Phase 4, he simply looks demonic. This mod wasn't super long, but what they did give us was surprisingly creepy. Mouse AVI has to have a spot on this list as well. And while a lot of his stuff isn't scary in a horror fashion, there's undoubtedly something scary about losing everyone you love in your life and then being forced to live life in like a endless loop. I know that there are a few different versions of the Mouse AVI mods, but they all end up like really bad for Mickey. He's either trapped in hell or in a colorless sub dimension, both of which are fates that are worse than death, really. Next up, we have the dead Bart mod, and this one is scary for a few different reasons. The first one being the appearance of Bart. In the mod and in the original creepypasta, his image is definitely nightmare fuel because he basically falls out of a plane and cracks his head open. But another thing that creeps me out about this story is that they actually predicted the death of some of the celebrities in here correctly, meaning that they got the actual dates correct, which shouldn't have been possible. In the creepypasta, they even put the dates on the tombstone so that people like had them solidified. While it's obviously just a coincidence, it's still creepy as heck. Next, I think I definitely need to add MX onto this list. 
I'm sure you all remember this demonic version of Mario that can suck people into his game world and force them to play a game of tag. And while that may not sound too bad, if he actually catches you, he will consume your soul. And if that wasn't bad enough, he's basically a unstoppable force that can break through walls and any other obstacle, making it hard to get away from this guy. Next, I'm gonna add the Unmasked Toy mod. Some of you may not remember this one, but it's the mod that actually had all the horror versions of Woody. Now, while I could talk about each version of Woody, I'll highlight FNAF Woody here. I think this guy is creepy because like in the story, all the Toy Story toys are basically possessed. And when Andy goes off to college, he leaves the toys with a new little kid. And later that very night, the kid learns that these toys are actually alive and that they definitely want to rip him apart. There's a whole little animation on YouTube that kind of shows this play out, and it's awesome if you want to check it out. <laughs> Next, I think we should add the Salad Finger mod here. And this is one of the interesting ones because it's weird and scary at the same time, which is what I think the original Salad Fingers like animator was actually going for. I think the reason that it creeps me out specifically is because of how empty Salad Finger's world is. We can kind of see it in this cutscene here from the mod. I also want to add that in that moment too, we can kind of tell just how scary Salad Fingers can be when he actually wants to be. Next, we're going to add the Tails Diary mod onto this list. And this is the mod where Tails is deeply in love with Sonic and he starts taking out anyone who learns about this secret. This is also the mod where he cuts off his own you know what in order to show Sonic how devoted he is to being his partner. It doesn't help that he also eats the thing that he cuts off. This one may fall more into like the gross category, but I think it has enough horror elements to it to make it on this list. Let me know if I missed any mods that I should have added on here. Check out this video next and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.